Nice stop, buddy. Well, I am master of the ass save. Yeah, look sharp. Practice up for the new season. Ow! Those are rocks, you tool. All right. Here, we'll use this. You're not too sensitive for a juice box, are you? I don't know. Straw's still in it. That could puncture my windpipe. Wimp. Here we go. Nikki looks silly. Oh! oh. Fuck, he's safe. Well, you gotta get back in your crease. Oh. Get back what in your crease! About? I started in my crease! In your crease! You're, You're in my... Car! Oh, gas, right? Am I to assume you're going to be announcing at the hockey games again this year? Time, 11.31. Excellent. I love the way you call games. What is it you call a goal again? Twine tickler. Uh, offside. Premature. Somebody elbows somebody in the mouth. Bender in the beer hole. I make a huge save. That's never come up. Hey, Hank. Hey. Chocolate milk to go, please? Why, no coffee? Uh, nope. Got to bulk up for the first game. Hockey season starts this week. We have a team? Yeah. Wow, what's it called? River Dogs. Ah, the Dog River River Dogs. You know, you guys are allowed to use other letters in the alphabet. What is a River Dog, anyway? I don't know. Just sounds cool. I mean, who knows what a Bruin is? It's just a word. doesn't mean anything. Bruin means bear. Oh, yeah, right. Boston Bears. Nice try. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, hey, Brent. Better get some lotion for the back of that neck. Keep walking. <laughs> What do you need lotion for? Oh, it was just Hank being hilarious. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's half play goalie for the River Dogs. So the joke is, I let in so many goals every year that the back of my neck gets sunburned from the red light going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so you're not the world's greatest goalie, eh? Nope, he ain't. But he is the best damn goalie in the entire Pickle Valley Hockey League. Now the River Dogs will be an embarrassment every year if it weren't for this broad bugger. Hmm. That was almost a compliment, kind of, in a way. I thought you said you were a lousy goalie. No, I said I let in a lot of goals, mainly because I get about 110 shots a game. Wow, no neutral zone trap for you guys, huh? Well, our defensemen can't skate backwards. That's the crux of it. So what brings you around here? Here to see you, actually. But I'm glad I saw you. I'm Ronnie. You call me Rocket. I'm Lacey. You can call me that. Ronnie here plays for Stonewood. Oh, yeah? What do they call their team, the Woodstones? No, the Saints. So what's your story, Rocket? Rocket Ronnie Raymore, born and raised in Stonewood, Saskatchewan, where he grew up to become the type of guy who gives himself a nickname. And I didn't give myself the nickname. It's okay, I used to call myself Xanadu. It's a good movie. I came here to see if you'd be interested in switching sweaters. But you wear like a medium. Hockey sweater, smart guy. I'm here to see if you'd uh, be interested in playing golf for the Saints. What? Leave the River Dogs? Are you out of your mind? This town is my life. I'm a dog through to the core. What makes you think? Unlimited bar tab. I'm listening. Paul! Oh. Did you turn it off? Yes, I turned it off. I think it's having a seizure. It's fine. The carb's sucking on the fuel pump for a bit, that's all. I feel like we should shoot it. I'll remember that the next time you start coughing. If I ever make sounds like this, I'll welcome the bullet. <laughs> and Furl and Tire is one of our sponsors. You play golf for us, you get boots for your car. Sweet. Still, though, I'm sure you wouldn't mind playing in top of line brand new equipment. I mean, after all, aren't you the kid that had to play with the wooden goal pads? <laughs> No. Where's Brent? 
Do you have any fresh bread? Who's minding the pumps? Not the ruby, not until two and nine at the moment. He just leaves the pumps? They, somebody could rob the place blank. They could steal the squeegee. They're rigged with explosives. Maybe while we're here, we should have Brent look at the car. Why? What's wrong with the car? Oh. <sighs> what? I don't know, Ronnie. I mean, I'm flattered and everything, but uh, I'm going to have to decline the offer. Hey, you five hole. What's this jerk doing here? Ronnie here asked me to play for the Saints. What? You got a lot of nerve, buddy. Hope you told him to go hump a stump. Better. I told him I declined the offer. He had no comeback. <laughs> hey, no skin off my nose. But if you were to play for us, you wouldn't have to put up with the humiliation of me scoring on you every game. Not every game. This never happened. You're speaking metaphorically. Yeah, well, why don't you speak levaphorically? Scramaphorically. Piss off aphorically. What are you guys like, seven? When, when you guys like seven? <laughs> Burn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Oscar. Car trouble? That's fine. Why's the hood up, Shade? Emma's after me to fix it, so I'm out here to shut her up. If I keep the hood up, she can't see me from the house. <laughs> yeah, a real super spy. Uh, came to use your skate sharpener. Getting ready for the season opener, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Jeez, I can't wait. Uh, I heard we almost lost Brent. What do you mean? Stonewood Saints asked him to play for their team. They what? Shunned them. How would they like it if we went there and burnt down their rink? That genuinely seems like an appropriate response to you. Hey, yeah. Uh... Oh, hey. Team meeting started without you. Some brilliant strategizing going on, no doubt. Well, you missed a ten-minute argument about how much a puck weighs. Let's review Brent's compensation package. All right. <clears throat> we got these coupons, and uh, this here card's good for a free sandwich. Well, two more stamps is good for a free sandwich. And this. The hell's that? Police line do not cross tape. Got a million uses. Hey guys, what's all this junk? Uh, think of it as uh, your signing bonus. Wow, coupons and tape? If salaries keep skyrocketing like this, Dog River could lose the franchise. Look, guys, we need to formulate a plan for the opener against the Saints. In lieu of actual practice. Well, practicing is good in theory. In reality, it just tires us out. Oh, the important thing is morale. Your morale, Brent. You threw a scare into us when you thought about leaving the team. Well, it is kind of tempting to be on the same team as Ronnie. He's the only guy who ever scores on me. You can't blame Brent. Sounds like you guys have taken him for granted. No, no, Lacey. By all accounts, he's one hell of a goalie. Hey, it's fine, really. Yeah, but you tell him to lotion up his neck, you call him five hole. Wanda says I never make any big saves. All right, Brent, I mean, you're a great goalie. And we need you between the pipes. Yeah. Well, if you guys really want to do something for me, try not to give up so many shots on net. Why do you guys give up so many shots? Well, we turn the puck over a lot at the blue line. No. Oh, so they're probably bringing forwards hard on the forecheck, pressuring your D into bad passes out of the zone, huh? Probably. Sure, that sounds like it. Yeah, I think that's what they're doing. Oh, well, that's something your coach should pick up on. And that brings us to new business. We should really think about getting the coach. A lot of teams have them now, even in the NHL. You guys, I know hockey. I could coach. Think about it. You'll get back to me. Did you get the car fixed? Uh, yeah. There was a air pocket in the uh, flex inhibitor. Flex inhibitor. It's right between the um, hemi quads. What does brewing mean? Well, it means boiling slowly or simmering at a low temperature. No, no, no. Brewing. B R U I N. Oh, that's just a fancy way of saying Ursus. Hi, guys. So, did you think it over? Oh, come on. 
You don't have a coach. You need a coach. I can coach. Look, uh, Lacey, uh, no offense, but I talked to some of the other guys about it, and we're just not too keen on the idea. And by the way, Bruin, it doesn't mean bear. It means Ursus. Bear. This makes no sense. Why are the guys so against me being the coach? Well, I'm not sure. Let's ask your penis. Excuse me, Lacey's penis. What the? You don't have one. Oh, you can't be serious. I'm serious. I didn't see one. They don't want me to coach because I'm a woman? Oh, come on. Doesn't that strike you as being just a little bit sexist? Well, not so much sexist as just... Oh, yeah, sexist is right, yeah. Oh, this is ridiculous. I mean, is this okay? You and I walking out in public without being married? I'm not going to get arrested for wearing pants, am I? I doubt it. Grant, I know more about hockey than anybody in this town. But you and the guys are saying no women allowed? Hang on, nobody's saying no women allowed. What they're saying is there's never been women before. The idea of a woman coach is new to these guys. Therefore, it's a uh, weirdness newness. They're just frightened and confused by the weird newness. Oh, the weird newness, okay. People around here tend to rankle at things that are different. They're rankling at the weird newness. Just give them time, ease them into it. Like a frog. Like a frog. I don't know what that means. Okay, they say if you put a frog in boiling water, it'll die, right? But if you put a frog into tepid water and you slowly raise the temperature degree by degree, the water can boil and the frog won't die. I think I'll skip the soup of the day tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, woman. We're gonna miss the opening face-off. I had to get my cushion. Those cold seats give me the frosty piles. If we get in this car, it doesn't start. I swear by all that's holy, I'll throttle you with an extension cord. Done. But if it does start, you have to shut up about it. Done. You're my hero. Let's just go. We're gonna be late. Oh, that's right. It's almost shut up o'clock. <laughs> Huge crowd out there, boys. What do you figure? It's gotta be close to 50. Let's not disappoint them, boys. I hate losing to this team. Actually, I hate losing in general, but especially to this team. And you guys stay on that rocket, Ronnie. Geez, I hate getting deked out by that guy. I hate getting deked. It's like being tricked. Guy says, I'm gonna go left, but then he doesn't go left, he goes right. And then he scores and he's some kind of hero and I'm a gullible jackass. So, stay on him is all. Let's go, Dodds! Wanda's not gonna play that Who Let the Dogs Out song again this year, is she? Don't worry, I made her promise to get a different dog song. And here come our rubber dogs! Well, that backfired. Don't forget your cushion. Got it. You have your loud clapping gloves? Go, rubber dogs! <laughs> The electric lock must be on. Go on, open. It's the first game of the season. What are you looking for? An extension cord. Saints gain the zone. Here's the shot. Big time save. Reminiscent of the time he was kicked by a donkey. Hey, I'll get it. There you go. Hey, don't mind me. I'll be your door girl. Person. Door person.
You pushing the down button? No, I'm adjusting the rear view mirror. Of course I'm pushing the down. Okay, now I'm pushing the oh. down button. What are you doing out here? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'll leave you guys alone. No! Oh. We're stuck here and we can't open the door. Okay, cover your face. I'm gonna smash the window. No! We're not suffocating. We're stuck. Go find something to Jimmy the Lock. Okay. Early into the second period, and it's all safe so far. Dogs are playing like my grandma, only less physical. I didn't even think of suffocating until you mentioned it. The car is not airtight. It's barely rain tight. Where the hell's Karen? Good hustle out there, boys. Good hustle. Anyone seen my pancreas? Come on, we're only down a goal, boys. We can do this. Yeah, we got a goal last season. Here you go, Hank. Thanks. Nice job. No, oh, no problem. Hope you get a goal with it. You know, perhaps from the top of the hash marks when their defenseman covers our center. You know, or however it plays out. Oscar. I did not. You did. Let's go, Billy. Stay sharp, Lloyd. Looking good, Davis. Lose the smoke, Frank. Okay, short shifts. Keep the legs fresh. Couldn't find anything to use on the locks. Look under the hood. There might be a block in the flex inhibitor. Taken. We need to gain their zone quick. Nothing goes up the middle. Davis, I want you to chip the puck up the boards to center. Hank, drill it in. Wingers, get on your horses and drive it hard to the corner. D, get up into the play. Get some traffic in front of the net. Pass it into the crease, and then everybody get lumber on it, okay? Who knows? We might get lucky and tip one home. Go! Right, Who's your mommy? <laughs> one of the cables on your battery is jarred loose. Is that the thing you hit with the hammer? We've got less than a minute left. They're going to try and get the puck to that rocket guy. If Ronnie gets a breakaway, I will we'll stop him. If he gets a breakaway, branch sheet to your right, you'll force him to go left and use his backhand. I've been watching. He's got a weak backhand. He'll never get it over your glove. Go! All right! Nice D. than we do. <laughs> Hi, 
everybody. I'm Darren Atishan with River Dogs star goalie Brent Leroy. And Brent, that was a stunning victory. And by victory, I do mean moral victory because it was actually a tie. Yeah, it was important that we didn't lose this game. You know, you set a goal and you go for it. You know, because of your rather miraculous save in the dying seconds of the hockey game, you have been called out by the Vancouver Canucks. Is that right? Cool. Now, hang on, this is just a dream, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. I don't normally cover senior rec games in the Pickrow Valley Hockey League. Yeah, I thought that was strange. You still want to do this? Sure, but, but hang on. Hi. How you doing? Don't know. 